Okay, honey extraction day. And we are doing it the old fashioned manual way. So we have buckets. Dan put a spout on the bottom bucket, which is where the honey will go down. It will go through two different nettings. So this wider netting. Nylon. And then it will go through cheesecloth. the cheesecloth and then down into the bucket. So hopefully most of everything will be strained out by the time it gets to the bottom. Dan says we look like we're set up for surgery. Now the first way we're gonna do it is basically cutting off the capping and then taking a spatula and pushing all the comb and honey down into the bucket. Now, unfortunately, this destroys all that comb that the bees made, but does leave some wax still on the, on the frames. But then the bees have to rebuild all that comb. Now, Dan is scraping first to open up Combs. These aren't filled, they're filled with honey from the cap. Right. And you can see all the honey underneath there that will be scraped into the bucket. This is so satisfying. <laughs> Enjoying that, huh? <laughs> See, so you really... Hmm? So you're uncapping it with a scraper, not with the well, knife. Right now. Oh, I could just yeah, scrape it. You, you, I was going to say, you basis, basically uncapped it. Honey. I might as well just take the... Here we go. Let's try this way. Let's get in. There will be a bunch of wax in there too that you can either use to make candles or you can melt it down and put it on your, your uh, new frames so that it gives the bees a little bit of a head start having extra wax on the frames when you put them into your hive. And that's going through the cheesecloth. So we got four frames. Now I'm hoping to keep a frame and try a little bit different of a way where you don't destroy all the honey combs. And you just kind of open them up and let them drain overnight. So we'll see how that works. Now there is definitely a better way of doing this, which uh, is mechanical and uses centrifugal force like a big centrifuge and basically spins the honey out of the uncapped combs, which then leaves you still with combs for the, you can see those combs. 
it still leaves you with combs for the, the bees to use. Now this is uncapping using the knife instead of the comb. Look at all that honey. Right, that was the knife. Can you take taste? Tastes like honey. Just tastes the best honey ever. Okay, it tastes like the best honey ever, except that I don't eat honey, so I can't really tell you too much of a difference. After you're done doing everything, you take all the frames and all the things that got honey on it, after you've taken all your honey and bottled it, and you take it all back out to the beehive or to the bee area, and you let the bees clean it all up. So all the cappings can go out, all the wax cappings, all the frames, all the buckets, all your tools, and they will take the honey back into the beehive for themselves. So nothing gets wasted. I like it special. You do like it? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's stiff enough. No, it's pretty good. So we can get down to the foundation and not worry about ripping the foundation up. Thank you.